On St Crispian's Day in October 1415, King Henry V led his weary and outnumbered army against the French at Agincourt. Before the battle, he gathered his band of brothers for one last time. Over 600 years later, another band of brothers lead the fight at home against an invisible enemy. This day is called the Feast of Crispian. He that outlives this day and comes safe home will stand a tiptoe when this day is named and rouse him at the name of Crispian. He that shall outlive this day and see old age will yearly on the vigil feast his neighbours and say, <coughs> And when he strip his sleeve, I show his scars and say, These wounds I had on St. Crispian's day. Old men forget, yet all shall be forgot. But he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Then shall our names be familiar in his mouth as household words. Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter. Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester. Be in their flowing cups freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son. And Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by. From this day to the ending of the world. But we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today who sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Be he ne'er so vile, this day shall gentle his condition. And gentlemen in England now abed shall think themselves accursed. They were not here. And hold their manhoods cheap whilst any speaks that fought with us upon St Crispin's Day.